Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabberelli of Jabberelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. This video is going to be hopefully an explanation of how to do everything on Open Test, Open Smartphone Test Form, O-S-T-F, Open. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, you will need a USB flash drive. I happen to have lots of those. You might have them too. I got these hella cheap on uh, Gearbest. Eight gigs, one dollar. I'm sure you can find one that's eight gigs. Anyways, you're gonna need at least eight gigs. A spare computer, preferably a stick PC, but a laptop will work too. Yeah, desktop can too. I feel bad about wasting the whole desktop for this purpose, but you need at least a computer that can run Linux. Um, if it's not blank, right, fine, as long as you don't care about it. And it needs to be running. Uh, and then a powered USB hub, and I'll show that one later. So what I want to talk about today is how to install the USB installation disk. So let's move to the screen here. All right, and on this screen I have a program called Rufus. You will need to download Rufus. It is literally one megabyte. You will also need to download Ubuntu Server, and this is up a little bit here. Up oh, man, thing to be. Ubuntu.com slash download slash server. I will be leaving the links so you can get to more easily. But you need to download this. Click the download. Doesn't matter what the point version is, 18.04 is LTS, which means it lasts until my April 2023. Four years, that's plenty of time. If you make all the money up and learn how to become a proper Ubuntu server master by that time, I would not be surprised. In any case, this lasts a long time. Long-term support, that's what LCS stands for. So you get this software and the Rufa service software, which I will move this out of the way. Boom, there it is. So, when you, inst when you put your little eight gig uh, flash drive in here, it will show up there. And what you'll need to do, leave this alone, select, means grab, right? I happen to keep these things in my D drive in a storage folder called ISO. And then I have already downloaded it. You can see here, this is the desktop version. This is the server version. We need the server version. Select that. Leave everything as you see it. And then just hit start. It will bug you. Yeah, you wanna do this? Fine, yes, yes, just use the recommended version. Okay. And then, yes, it'll destroy everything on the drive, so of course you want the drive to be blank. Okay. Now, I will skip ahead to when this is done because I don't want you guys to have to, but it'll take a few minutes. And it's done. And that was actually quite about 10 minutes, actually. So, my bad. And then you want to close it. And that is about it.